everybody. I'm John DiMaggio. Uh, you may know me as the voice of Bender. You know, the lovable skip from Futurama. The uh, dog from Adventure Time, Jake. You know, dude, come on, man. You're totally math. And what I'm going to do today is improvise some characters that I've never seen before. So, hmm, hope I get the gig. All right, so... I'm looking at this mosquito, and the first thing I'm thinking is the New Jersey state bird, because uh, I'm from New Jersey originally. So, you know, he's, he's, got, he's definitely, definitely, definitely up here. You know, he's got that high-pitched sort of thing, maybe like a pesci sort of thing. And, uh, you know, because he's loy and he's, he wants to do, get suck your blood out and bleed, but maybe he, you know, but maybe he's got a problem with the hemoglobin, and he doesn't really... He has a problem with consuming blood, you know. But then again, I mean, you know, going against the grain is always funny, so. If you're giving him some sort of dumb kind of voice like this, and when, when he gets up, sick, so that's how, you know, he wants to suck somebody's blood, you know. I mean, so, you know, but definitely, definitely a pair of the dolls. That's what I, that's what I would do for that. Okay, here you have a, uh, wow. I just noticed that he's got crossed eyes. You know what's funny? When you do a character with, sort, with certain sort of things, you, you tend to do it when you're, when you're doing it. So, you know, I'm going to try not to do that. But I, I would think that he is some sort of guy who talks like this, and, you know. Or maybe because he seems like a Viking that he would have a sort of a Scandinavian accent, you know. And uh, he likes the snow, and he likes his mustache, and he likes his axe. And boy, this wooden table on my back sure makes a great shield, huh? He could also have sort of a, a voice like this. But anyway, I'm out here in the snow. Like, I, I tell you what. I love a smoked fish. Definitely not working with a full deck because of those crossed eyes. You, you can make him sound, you know, he's trying to be smarter than he actually is, but he's not really that smart. So the faster you have him talk, the more you think he knows what he's talking about, but doesn't know what he's talking about. This guy looks like a devil that is um, middle management. And he's always just angry at everybody. What is everybody doing? Because he's got no nose, so you can't really hear. Ah! ah! I'll tell you. Oh, I need a... somebody get me something to wipe my glasses with. Ah! You know what? And I would get the direction on this if I booked this gig. I would get the direction. John, start lower so you have somewhere to go. Because I would constantly be just be screaming, screaming, screaming. He'd start out like this, and then he'd go like this, and then he'd get really angry, and then wah! All right, you could try a nerdier version. I want everybody at that meeting at 9.30. <laughs> and you could totally add the adenoidal and then like a, a total demon snarl. Yeah, so every time he complains, you know, Who's, who made this coffee in here? <laughs> you know, I mean, that, that, that could work. Oh, this guy's very cute. He seems like a very timid guy. Now, this is interesting because the first place I went with this voice, this tiger seems very timid. He almost is like, I can't believe how large I am, and yet I'm a vegetarian. I really don't like killing other animals for food. He could even be sadder. Because, I mean, if you just had him, it, it could be just, it could almost be on the verge of tears the whole time that he talks and I just, I mean, I had just, I had to eat this, this lone little pig. It was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. I can't believe it. I gotta go back to eating a plant-based diet. <laughs> Ooh, gee, Ooh. I mean, just his face alone just makes him, he just seems like he's just scared of everything. I mean, I would, ooh, definitely, I mean, I don't know what it is about birds that just seem very New Yorkish. Look out. I know I'm not from, I'm not from here, but wow. Oh, don't throw that there. I know, I know. No, I know, I know it's bird seed. 
<laughs> I know it's birdseed. I don't need any birdseed right now. I'm birdseed intolerant. Birds for me are always just so, so much higher, unless they're birds of prey. This is not a bird of prey. A bird of prey can get an owl like a night owl. This is not an owl. This guy's just scared of everything. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so this. This is some old timey character design. Just the face alone. <laughs> it's hi. Oh boy. I kind of I mean, I would literally go somewhere in between like a Mickey Mouse and a Goofy. You know, because you know, Mickey's that, that high voice. <laughs> you know, Goofy's got that sort of thing. But but I would I would make him a lot more sophisticated. Every time I get excited, I sweat profusely, as you can see, coming off my head. Wow! Dogs are just always, they just always have that look on their face. What do you want me to do? I don't know what to do. You want me to sit? Okay, I'll sit. Oh, hi, how are you? But you can make them a little more masculine than that. So I got it. Hi, everybody. Almost sounds like my old, my old manager. See, and this is the thing. I could do an impression of my old manager, right? His name is Barry Katz, man. He's unbelievable. He's managed so many comedians. John DiMaggio, you're on fire. I could make him sound like Barry Katz if I wanted to. And that's the thing. You can do an impression of someone, change it just a little bit. You know, any, 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 and a bad impression is a good voice, actually. This guy does not give a he doesn't care look at that oh i love his mole look at that thing on his forehead that is that is growth city well you know the first thing the first, first thing you gotta i mean you age him up so you put him up there he looks like he's had you know, he's got a can of canes so he's gonna have a little trouble walking around but he's got a heavy as hell disposition Boy, he's happy to be here. I'm happy to be alive all this time, for crying out loud. I went to the barber's today, and they cut out my nose hairs. It was a good time. Oh, boy, I like my, my guy Mario. He, I've been with him for 62 years. He's as old as I am. Sometimes I trim out his nose hairs. <laughs> Purple. Kitty cat. That's, I mean, he just, I mean, wow, I would just put him somewhere in here. Hi, everybody. I love being a cat. Oh, boy. Does anybody have any <laughs> treats for me? Yeah, I put him up there. It's totally not in my wheelhouse, um, admittedly. And I don't get called in for characters like this. Here's an idea. This, this cat um, is, a, is around kids all the time. And it's, and it's a real fun cat. Hi, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Purple Puss. That's me. I'm Purple Puss. Hey, everybody. Well, that's the end of the show for you guys. I'll see you later. And then, like, the goes behind the curtain, and it's just like, oh, man, I tell you, these kids, I can't take it anymore. I can't do it. I, I just can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. The one of them wiped the booger on me. I can't, I, 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 I. I sit there and I do the thing and it's, just, no, no, there's too many boogers. Too many boogers and uh, I'm not getting paid enough. Okay, now this thing, I would have no idea what this guy sounds like, but I'll tell you what, let me give it a shot. He's got, his, he's got some sort of thing. You can see that his mouth is quite wide. So maybe he's got some sort of a voice that comes across as ethereal and, and is, is grand. And I would like to take you on my ship where I will probe you. <laughs> the probing will continue on the ship. Don't worry, I have snacks. Weird. Yeah, he looks like some kind of a big old crazy biker. Ha, yeah, come on. I'm going to give it to you like that. Yeah, yeah. He's got to have a voice that, that kind of carries over, over the sound of the bike, you know? Yeah, I'm one of those guys. And he just, yeah, yeah. And he, wow. Look at this. I'm quite here suit. <laughs> Look at me. I need a razor. <laughs> I can't get a date because my shoulders are hairy. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's true. Women don't like that. 
definitely go with something really loud and, yeah, come on, yeah. I mean, and if he wanted to, he could get a little, I mean, this is him quiet, you know. <laughs> Maybe my bike is idling right now. <laughs> but when I'm riding, boy, oh, yeah, I can feel the wind blowing through my shoulder hair. Gross. Hey, everybody! It seems, it seems like he's just this kind of guy. He's got a loose, loose mouth, and he's got a tongue hanging out. And wee! He's just really excited. And, hey. and then, like, again, the cross eyes kind of seem like he's a little, a little dopier than most, with the tongue hanging out, especially, um, and the mouth being that wide. But it's just a lot of cheeks. Put a lot of cheeks in it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's sort of everything, wow, you know, just trying to put your tongue out every time you, you know, finish something. Yeah. You, could vary, you could vary the pitch of it. You could not make him as dopey, and you could uh, g give him sort, sort of an impediment. Sort of like a lift, sort of, you know, this sort of thing, you know, like kind of a Wallace Shawn sort of thing where he's, Hey, wow, this is really something. <laughs> hey, boy, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, it's so great to see you, boy, I tell you. So that's it for improvising new cartoon voices. I I'm John DiMaggio. I hope you maybe learned something. Uh, I hope you at least enjoyed it. Um, and good luck uh, with trying to uh, improvise your own voices. And someday maybe I'll see you in the studio. <laughs>